What's up, YouTube? This is Rebecca the Diva coming at you with a new video. If you're new to the channel, go right on ahead and hit that subscribe button. And when you do that, hit the notification bell. And please select all. Therefore, every time I upload, if YouTube is not bugging and tripping, tripping and bugging, you'll get notified. Hit that share button because sharing is caring. There are no secrets over here in this channel. No, we tell everything. And I do mean everything. And hit that like button because... Girl, you already like me, okay? Everybody does. <laughs> and if you're coming back again, welcome back to you again. And don't forget to hit the like button because y'all know, y'all be stingy with that like button. So make sure you hit the like button. It's, it's not going to do anything to your channel. It's not going to charge you anything. Hit the like button, please. And thank you. Um, I'm going to make this video quick because... Yeah, I didn't make a video yesterday, and then so I owe you a video for yesterday and today. I recorded a video earlier, but the volume on it sucked. It was like, it was really low. I don't know what was wrong with my microphone, but hopefully this one is better. Um, the tie, I'm just going to jump right into this video because it's 8.43 on a Thursday night. I'm trying to watch TV. I'm trying to finish getting my dinner cooked, and yes, I cook late on the fact of it is that I have two teenagers in the house and they stay up all night and they sleep late so they're not rising until 4 or 5 p.m. in the evening which they will go get a bowl of cereal or have breakfast food and then about an hour after that grab their lunch. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not cooking dinner early. I just like to cook it late so therefore cook the food fix them their plates and then I can retire for the night and relax and do whatever it is I need to do for me. Um, for everybody that's new, I'm noticing I got an influx of new people coming in. Thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to my channel. It's appreciated. Just sit down, buckle your seatbelt, and enjoy the ride because it could be a crazy one. I'm going to jump right into this video, like I said, because I'm getting tired and I'll start rambling on nonsense. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, it's like, it's saying, baby kids, let's talk about it. Now, the only thing that, and I just came up with the idea for this video, like, right off the top of my head, because it was disturbing to me what I saw. Now, for those of you who know me or have looked at other videos of mine, y'all know that I'm addicted to TikTok. The little app, that, yeah, I'm constantly on TikTok. I started going on TikTok because I um, promote my video, not my video, I promote my business. And for all the newbies, I do all my own online beauty boutique. I will leave all the details down in the description box. Um, I do all my own beauty, online beauty boutique, so I make little short clips of videos of my products that I sell. And I upload them to TikTok and also upload them to um, Instagram Reels. And if you are a small business person and you want to know how to do that, just leave it down in the comments below. And I will do a video on how to do that. So, I upload my products on TikTok and I look for business tips because, oh my God, when I tell you about 75% 75, 75 of the shit that I know... For my small business today, I got the ideas, whether it be a vendor or a hack or anything. I learned it from watching TikTok, watching somebody's video on TikTok. So, I was a little bit bored with TV, so I'm sitting here just in relaxation mode, you know what I mean? And I'm scrolling through TikTok, so I see this video, I'm going to play it for you. And... Like, literally, my mouth fell to the fucking floor. Like, why? Like, why? Is what I want to know. It's like, why would you raise your child like this to be this way? So, here it goes. Nice. What's up, man? Motherfucker look like she about four or five years old. 
Now, my whole thing is she didn't learn that on her own. She learned that from the people that are raising her, whether it be her mama, her daddy, her mama, the stepdaddy, or the boyfriend, whomever. Like, I was like, this, this is a baby. Like, I could see when she was like a, a preteen, like maybe 10, 11, 12, teenager. But she looks only about four or five years old. And I was, and then what's the sad part about it is, y'all, if you go to the freaking comment section, motherfuckers is condoning this type of behavior. One lady has said, oh, the people in the comments that are pressed about this are the ones who didn't have to grow up in the hood. I grew up in the hood. I'm from motherfucking Brownsville, Brooklyn. I'm about as ghetto as motherfucking ghetto can be, Okay. But I didn't grow up like that. I know, and as an adult, I know how to turn my ghettoness on and fucking off, <laughs> like that ass. Like I literally just was had to check a motherfucker that I was trying to get to know. Um, I met him on a dating app, and we had switched phone numbers or whatever. And once I start talking to somebody, I feel more comfortable to be me, you know. And I'm going to be honest, I'm the first motherfucker to tell you I curse a lot. It's a bad habit. It's a nasty habit. But I got called um, after this person and I had made plans to go out on a meet and greet, have a little coffee or whatever. I got stood up. So I, when I realized this motherfucker wasn't responding back to text messages, I immediately blocked his ass. So then the other day I noticed that I had a blocked, missed voicemail. So I listened to it and it was just like, hello, 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 because he was an older guy. So some older people don't know how to work phones or messages or whatever. You do not. Everybody should know that voicemails, I can't hear you when you leave a voicemail. Just fucking leave a message already. So I unblocked his number. I was like, yeah, you call me. What do you want? And he was like, oh, like the way he was talking, it was like not proper English, but the man was educated. I didn't really understand what he was saying and then I was like, well, obviously you don't want nothing because you ghosted me. And for whoever don't know what ghosting means, that means when you're talking to somebody, then they automatically stop communication. And he was like, well, I thought you were somebody different, but I see that you're just ghetto fabulous. And I was like, ghetto fabulous? How you figure that one out? And he was like, oh, because you have a very nasty foul mouth. You curse a lot. And I was like... Okay, whatever, fuck you. Kiss my ass, suck my dick, and I blocked him again. Now, I don't see me being being ghetto on the fact of it is that I can turn it on and turn it off. You feel me? I know how to act when I go to work. I know how to act. I'm a CEO of a company. So, if someone comes to me and say hey I didn't get a package or my pack was damaged or this that, and the third I know how to come at them correctly okay and like I said so being from the hood don't got nothing being from the hood or not from the hood don't have anything to do with how this little girl was acting it just and she's basically a product of her environment and it's, a, and it's an unfortunate situation that her parents don't seem to know no better not to teach her to act that way. And the sad part about it to me is how she's bucking up at a grown ass man. Like, had you, when you be 13 or 14 or 15 and you do that bucking up at a grown ass man, nigga gonna lay you the fuck out. So, why, why would you want your child, your baby, okay, because this little girl is a baby. She's four, no older than five years old. Speaks very well. And you can tell she's a smart little girl by the way that she's acting because she knows how to put her words together, pronunciate them motherfuckers, tell you what's going to do, who, who going to do what, who ass going to be whooped and all of that. <laughs> but I was like, this ain't nothing but a real life baby kid. And for those of you who don't know what baby kids are, some of you younger ones, in the bunch it was this um movie came out i think it came out in the i want to say the 80s i can't remember 
who there was this black comedian by the name of Robin Harris. Extraordinary. He's like on the lines of Bernie Mac and, you know, Steve Harvey and them. So he, I think he was the producer of this little mini, mini movie cartoon. And it was about this girl named Bebe. And she had about six, seven, eight kids. <laughs> I think about Straw Mama Chrissy every time I come across somebody with a bunch of kids. She had about six, seven, eight kids, and the kids were motherfucking bad, okay? Like, pissy diapers with flies around the diapers. My daddy life. Snot coming, nose need to be wiped. The whole shebang. You know, just bad, bad ass fucking kids. And that's what this little baby, you know, Vermont, she was that little, that little turned up little girl. Remind me of a baby kid. Like, that right there is her life, I feel. Unless something dramatic happens where her parents try to do a 360 degree turnaround and change the environment they, they're in and raise her correctly, she's gonna be ready to pop off whenever, wherever, however. Like, her mother's gonna always be getting phone calls from the school being like, yo, look. And that's what happens when kids basically grow up around it or see that happening a lot and I can speak on it because like I say y'all know I'm always transparent with you because not that I used to act ghetto but I was one about my dick beats no I was quick to throw, throw them hands I was quick to argue with a motherfucker and that's why today my 24 year old daughter is really just she with the shits Trust me, she will beat your ass. She don't give a fuck who you are, where you came from, or where you're going. If you disrespect her, it's it's off limits. She about to she about to lay them paws on you like old Scrappy say. But um, and that used to be me, you know, until I realized that you know I can't solve my problems by being loud and ghetto and want to beat people up. Because the only thing that's going to do is make me go to jail. And nobody wants to go there. So, yeah. I just wanted to show you guys this video. Because, like, I was like, I had to watch it, like, three, four times. I was like, am I, are they serious? The adults in the back just videotaping this shit like it was cute. And then, like I said, what was really appalling to me is the motherfuckers in the comments. Y'all, like, getting all in your feelings. Because, um, you know, people... Like me, I'm saying, hey, this is sad. You know, why would y'all want y'all little baby acting like this? You know, and it's like, one girl's like, yeah, I'm real confident because I grew up just like that. And it's like, baby girl, it don't have nothing to do with confidence. You can be hella confident, but not ghetto. Because I'm like that. I'm very confident, but I'm not ghetto, okay? Only time I do get ghetto, and I'm being honest, in this day and time, is if I find out you fucked my nigga, I'm going to fuck him up, I'm going to fuck you up, and you're going to really see the ghetto this come out. But other than that, like, I know how to contain my ghetto -ness. You know, I can turn it on, I can turn it off, whatever have you. But it's just like, wow, crazy, crazy, crazy that people are actually raising children to act like that. And then they post it. On social media of all places is the thing that really like and 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 they say the children are our future now I don't want that little baby kid to be my future sorry not sorry I, I, just, I can't but that's all I wanted to bring to y'all attention like I said I saw this and I was like oh my god like how could you raise a little girl like that to be all cutthroat and raw and she don't even look like she in school yet do she even know her abc's can she sit down and read a book is she watching coco melon like child but that's all i gotta say in this video this is my day 11 video but it's on the 12th and i got one more video i'm gonna post tonight i think it's, yeah, it's going to be a reaction video. We're going to keep up the flow with that. I ain't forget. I ain't forget. <laughs> but until next time, guys. Bye.